Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz and today I wanted to share with you some mother of the grad dress ideas and these dresses of course will work for any special occasion that you have this spring and summer. I was just personally motivated to uh, do this video because I have one of my four children graduating from college this year and so I'm very excited and I was like, oh, should I get a new dress? And I started looking around to see what options there were and I realized there wasn't a lot of information or videos on this subject so I figured I, I needed the information so maybe others will as well. Uh, because I do have some opinions on the matter. So if you're interested to see my picks and how I style them, then just keep watching. Before making this video, I did peruse the internet to see if uh, there was, what kind of information was out there. And I did notice that there were a lot of younger ladies who have some great videos on what to wear if you are the grad. And it is good to have a lot of different information and points of view. This video particularly is going to be for the mother of the grad, or if you're the grandmother, the auntie, cousin, neighbor, or friend attending, and you are proud of your grad, and just want to look nice for those you know, grad pictures that will hang around for years and years to come. So I guess the first rule uh, I think that we should all be following is the same kind of rule that we do for weddings. So when you attend a wedding, you don't wear white because the bride is wearing white and you don't want to distract from that. And I have looked at graduation photos and I do see some of the mothers or grandmothers wearing black and ladies I know we love to wear black because it's slimming and we know there's going to be all of those pictures but you blend in with their black gown and it and it really doesn't let them shine as much. I know that some uh, grads may have different color robes but in general it's black and so I would say one uh, easy rule to follow is don't wear black or don't wear all black, <laughs> which leads me to my first uh, dress to share with you. I have, if you do wanna wear black because it is slimming, then I would suggest not a full black dress. You're gonna to need to have some kind of pattern on it or floral or some kind of design with maybe a black background and that should still get the same effect that you were going for without distracting from your grad. So the first dress that I wanted to share with you is this beautiful embroidered uh, floral dress from uh, Boston Proper. I did get this a few months ago. I checked, it's still available online. And this is a great choice. It just looks so elevated. It's a nice thick material. Um, I find that you do need to wear a strapless bra with it, but the material is thicker, so it's easy, kind of everything stays in place. If you were to have any, you know, slipping or moving around, you don't have to worry about falling up because it's got the high halter neck top. And then it's just really classy. It kind of covers everything, but can kind of show your curves still. Just a real forgiving dress and beautiful. I love the length, I love the cut is special, and of course the embroidered uh, design is beautiful as well. So it adds a nice spring splash of color, but you still get that kind of black dress feel without you know, taking away any light from, from your grad. So I got this dress in a size eight, which is a, a tad loose on me, I could go a size down if I wanted it tighter, but I prefer to go on the side, a little larger size. Um, I feel it's a little more forgiving. That way when you sit down, you don't have any rolls. I don't have to wear any shaping garments underneath um, or a slip because the material is thicker, which is gonna be cooler for that hot you know, June weather when you're sitting outside at the graduation. Uh, it just has two little buttons at the top and it does have a zipper right here in the back. But other than that, it's pretty uh, low maintenance, not fussy at all, and very comfortable to wear. You don't have, you know, you don't have a belt or buttons that you have to worry about popping up. 
And for this, I just paired it with a white purse and some white pearl earrings. And you can really pull any of the colors out that you like from this dress. So if you had some really pretty pink heels, that would be great. Oh, which leads me to another tip. Usually, well, the graduations I've been to, which have only been high school ones so far, are usually on grass. And so you wanna be careful, obviously, if you're walking across grass or gravel with heels. So that's why I would say do a block heel or a wedge. It's a great spring and summer shoe. There's lots of great options that look beautiful and still classy that you can wear. And then you don't have to worry about messing up your heel, um, you know, falling <laughs> or breaking it or, or just all the things that can happen walking with a pointed heel in, you know, nature terrain. And the second dress that I have to share with you is this gorgeous blue and white, uh, I guess convertible. It is a strapless dress, but it does come with adjustable spaghetti straps if you'd like to opt for them, which I generally do, but it is nice to have the option. And uh, so this is from Abercrombie and it is a size medium tall is what I got. And I just love this, these colors and this pattern for spring and summer. It's just timeless. And ladies, when you're, when you are choosing a, a dress, I would say, think about uh, something classic, classy and timeless because these photos are going to be around forever um you know my like i said my daughter is graduating and she's 22 years old and i i'm thinking whatever i wear like her kids are going to see one day or you know it's just going to be around forever and just a real special uh, occasion event and so you really want to have something uh stylish and classy you know not too revealing but but that looks nice and is flattering to you. And so I think that this dress is a great choice. A little bit about this, this dress. So um, the straps are removable if you would like to wear it strapless. It does have the silicone band at the top to help hold it up. It is a thicker material, so you don't have to wear um, a slip with it, which is nice. I, I just like the, the less fussy a dress is, especially when you're an, attending an, uh, an event, an outdoor event, and then the better. I, I just don't like a dress that you have to readjust all the time and things are moving around and you have to worry about buttons and zippers and, you know, and then anything weird that you'd have to do to go to the bathroom. So uh, easy peasy is the way to go. And that is the kind of dresses that I like really for any occasion, but certainly for a special event where I don't, want to worry about my dress. I want to enjoy the event. Um, so the back of this dress does have a zip closure, so you can get it, you know, a pretty snug fit if you'd like. Again, I tend to get mine, you know, just barely fitted because I like a little more forgiveness through the midsection, but the back is stretchy. So it kind of cinches to your shape. And I did pick this up in tall and it's still a midi on me. So I like where it hits. I think it looks classy. And then the same as the first dress, I pulled from the white and opted for pearl earrings and a white purse. But um, on the first dress, that one actually had a lot of colors. So if you have like, you know, your favorite hot pink shoes, you could wear them with those or, you know, your bag. And then with this one, certainly other shades of blue and kind of make it lean more toward the blue or more toward, toward the white. Um, for most of these looks, I opted for either a clear strap wedge or a nude heeled sandal. And that is kind of generally what I wear with dresses in the spring and summer. Oh, and I forgot to mention this one has pockets too. And I love dresses with pockets. All right, for the third option I have to share with you today is this gorgeous navy and cream colored flowy summer dress from Banana Republic Factory. I actually recently just picked this one up. So if you didn't see my uh, Banana Factory haul, check that one up out. Um, I actually found another dress that I'm gonna suggest too later in the video from uh, the same place. So they have some great options of gorgeous, timeless looking 
classy dresses there at Banana Republic and Banana Republic Factory. So and for this dress in particular, it does have adjustable spaghetti straps that you can um, you know, make taller or shorter. It does have a zipper back. The whole body part is very forgiving, so you can wear it loose. I actually prefer to wear it belted. I just think it looks beautiful that way. And I was able to get this in a tall. So um, I got this in a six tall and I love the length. Um, I love when I can find a dress that goes all the way to my ankles. I just think it looks more uh, chic and you know higher end when you can get a full length dress. It is a bit sheer, so I would wear a long, um, you know, 34 or 36 inch slip and then just pull it all the way up under the bust. I you could do a whole um, slip with the straps if you're wearing a jacket or some kind of cover over the top and then and then it wouldn't matter. So this is another great choice and just really easy to wear, feels great on. You don't have to worry about, you know, again, buttons or zippers or, you know, um, just a lot of fuss. It's just an easy streamlined dress and looks very classy. Staying in that same kind of theme, so uh, that flowy light material with the spaghetti straps, um, my fourth choice is this beautiful red, white, and tan uh, summer dress that I picked up on Shein. So another option and a lot more affordable. Um, I think that one was on sale. And of course, I'll link everything uh, down below as well for you. So if, uh, if it's not available, I'll put a similar option just to give you some ideas. But, um, you know, most of these were available when I last looked, but, you know, things sell out all the time. So this is a uh, great dress that I got this year. It does have adjustable straps. It has just a sweet v-neck, um, very wearable and you know not too low or anything. It is sheer, so I would wear the high slip the same as the previous one. And I like this one because it has the, um, you know, stretchy waist and I like this. I actually sized up in this. This is an extra large and I got that so that I could blouse up the top. So you don't have to wear it like that. You could obviously get it smaller and wear it more fitted, wear it, you know, in any way that you like. This is just how I chose, you know, I opted to, to wear it. And I just think it kind of gives a whole different feel to the dress. This one does have one slit, which isn't that bad. It is, you know, and I was wearing it outside in the wind today. And so it was blowing around. So I got a really good idea of how it would go if it was a windy day, which is leads me into another tip. <laughs> you do want to watch if your dress has a slit because that is another thing during pictures and with family and friends around you don't need any you know fashion mistakes anything flashing you know the kids or <laughs> people so something this is a time to you know let the grad shine and just get a gorgeous dress for yourself but something that's not fussy that you don't have to be holding down and you know fussing with and so this one has, I would say, an appropriate slit and, you know, appropriate v-neck, so very easy to wear. And this one has no buttons or zippers, which I love. So, I mean, this is just going to be a great dress to wear all spring and summer because it is a no-fuss dress, which are my favorite kind. <laughs> All right, moving right along to dress number five. So I've shown you one halter top, one strapless essentially, and two spaghetti strap. And I have one more halter top dress here for you. Uh, this is a gorgeous uh, dress that I picked up from Anthropology a few years ago. So this one is not available, but I did find some options. And I wanted to share this one with you. One, so you can kind of see my style. 
Um, of course, there's no way I could have shared this because I'm new on YouTube. So if you do like my style, you do like some of the things that I pick, be sure to like and subscribe because now that I am on YouTube, I will certainly share any new items that I pick up a lot sooner. And, uh, you know, I am pretty lucky at finding good things and they do seem to, to sell out because the timeless stuff in the gorgeous colors usually does. And so uh, this has some just beautiful colors. I actually find I can wear this all year round. So it has beautiful colors, it's full coverage. It only has two buttons at the top, so no zippers or buttons anywhere else. Another great uh, classic timeless cut and colors and the no fuss on the dress, it, it just makes it a keeper to me. So uh, I will, like I said, I will link um, a couple other choices that I think are similar to this. And I wanted to include this one also because this is the only satin one. So it does have a different feel than the others. And so, you know, if that is a dress or style that you like, then that's gonna be different than, than all of the rest. But I love the length. I love uh, these big flowy dresses. When you find one in a color and cut and a no fuss that you love, you can always belt it. And sometimes it takes a few different belts to find the right one, but um, you certainly can. And it just changes the whole look to it. So for these ones too, I did want to mention uh, the belt that I am using, I did get from Anthropology a few years ago. I actually got that when I picked up this dress. That is how they had the mannequin. I was walking around and they had the mannequin uh, dressed with this dress and that belt. And I was like, oh my God, I love that. I need it. <laughs> and so that's kind of how that happened. And I wear that belt with so many dresses. I will tell you, um, I did pick up a three pack from Amazon and it has the same camel color. It also came with a red belt and a black belt. So a three pack and it is that wide belt look. And I wear those belts with lots of other dresses as well. If you, um, didn't see my five favorite Amazon dresses for spring and summer. I'll link that here. And in that video, I showcase some of those wide belts. So check that one out. And of course, I'll link everything below as well. Okay, if you've been patiently waiting to see if I'm going to show any sleeved dresses, yes, I am. <laughs> so I myself do have bigger arms as well. And sometimes I like to cover them up and sometimes I don't, but it certainly is slimming when I do. Uh, I, I just care sometimes and sometimes I don't. And so on any of those, uh, you know, skinny strapped or missing strap <laughs> dresses, you can certainly add on a third layer. So a linen blazer, a linen shirt, button up shirt, um, I have a cute little white blazer that's real sheer that I love for spring and summer. I actually featured it in my how to wear whites uh, for spring and summer video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link that as well. And um, there's just so many great choices. Uh, there's so many things that you could just throw over and it doesn't take away from the dress. It only adds more style. So lots of great choices, but um, I was thinking June and it's gonna be hot. so. I like to see how the dress is gonna look all by itself as well. I would certainly bring a jacket for the evening if you're going to dinner or something after. So anyway, uh, I think we're on dress number six. Dress number six is a three-quarter sleeve. Um, I don't know what to call this design. I'd say it's kind of a floral bohemian, bohemian vibe is what I'm getting. And so I love that it's full coverage. It covers everything up. Um, I love the buttons down the center. And of course, it has a pretty good size slit, but you certainly could open it up more. And um, if this one's not available, I'll link some alternatives. But also, um, it's not even that you need these exact dresses. These are just kind of to give you inspiration and maybe what to pair together, or maybe to belt something, or maybe the shoe choice. Um, or throwing a third layer on. 
And so uh, this is a great choice because like I said, it is full coverage. There, it's not real fussy. It does have a, a little bit deeper V neck, but I think because you know everything else is covered, it, look, it still looks classy and not too out there. Um, this one in particular does need a slip. It is a little bit sheer, but you can wear a regular bra with it, which is great. All right, and dress number seven is this beautiful linen colored dress from Zara. So this is a really simple dress, but I love it so much because it has an embroidered detail on it. So it has flowers embroidered on in the same color. It is sheer. So I would suggest wearing a full slip underneath, but it just has these buttons here for mostly for decoration. Um, they do button and unbutton, but I, this is in a size medium and it fits me perfectly and I just pull it over. So you don't have to worry about any buttons, any zippers, any slits. It's got arms. Um, so you would just have the slip underneath. And then I love this because you could pop on any accent color that you like. So I've worn this dress with uh, navy blue, with red, green as an accent. Um, and then today I styled it with the straw or raffia um, belt and then a uh, crocheted purse. So you can certainly uh, go a lot of directions with, <laughs> with this dress and dress it up or keep it more casual. All right, ladies, and I did want to include a classic, a wrap dress. Now, this one in particular, I picked up from H&M. It is a size medium, and I got this on sale or clearance. I don't know what it was, but it was $10. <laughs> I was in there with my daughter, my younger daughter, and we were looking around, and I was I was on the line because, uh, so what I will warn, in white or cream, uh, in this material, which is like a kind of like a polyester material, I don't know what it is actually, but that's what I would guess. Um, it is see-through, it is not that forgiving. So um, luckily this is a little big on me and I wore a full slip underneath. So I would maybe get a printed uh, wrap dress or maybe like a blue or green wrap dress, not necessarily cream, but cream is also uh, beautiful for spring and summer. I love white dresses. Um, I have a ton of them and I think they're beautiful. Uh, um, this weight, I would say, is a little bit difficult to wear sometimes unless you're in really great shape. <laughs> is just the least forgiving of any of my choices, but um, it is an excellent style to wear to any event. It can certainly be dressed up or dressed down. It has the fl flutter sleeves that cover your arms. You can wear a normal bra with it. It's a great length and it looks classy and timeless. You can kind of manipulate uh, how deep you want the V-neck so you can kind of wrap it higher or lower to achieve the effect that you want, but keep it classy for those photos so they're timeless. And yeah, I think um, a really beautiful choice. And so I will uh, link this information below or and or any similars if it's not available any longer. And dress number nine, I think we're on. <laughs> Uh, what I would suggest is a beautiful shirt dress. Um, there's so many options. I've actually been looking for one. I, I have ordered a lot <laughs> and tried them on. I'm just so picky about so many things. It's so hard. And so I think I've, I've tried on about five this year so far and, and I haven't liked any. Um, the most recent one that I picked up that I'm leaning towards a yes on is this uh, forest green uh, I guess, uh, I'm going blank on what kind of sleeves they, these are, but it's on a lot of like the linen top button up tops, Dolman, I think maybe. Um, so a button up shirt dress. And I loved this one in particular because it was a 
good weight material. So a lot of the shirt dresses that I've tried on are thinner, usually because they're linen, and that's fine. I love linen, but um, it is a little fussier. Obviously, you know, it wrinkles real easy, and which doesn't bother me a whole lot if I find the right cut. But um, there was just always something not quite right. Um, so I still haven't found a linen shirt dress that I love yet. And this one came in, it is from Shein. Uh, I like the shorter sleeves and then I love all, how all the buttons button up. I like the length, I like the weight, I like the color. I like that it comes in at the waist, but uh, so you don't have to wear a belt if you don't want. And again, I got this a little bit bigger because I don't like a real tight fitted look, but um, you could certainly size down if you're similar size to me um, and get it tighter if that's a look that you like. So for this one, I opted for a straw or raffia belt and these are great. Um, you can just get them on Amazon. They're kind of stretchy and it's a great way to add a little, I think, spring summer flair to any dress. And this one, I actually, because it is newer, I, I'm still not 100% sure how to style it. So I went for gold heels and a golden black purse, one round here, and then styled it a little more casually, but I still think it looks dressy with the straw belt. So really you can do that to any of these dresses. And I have a uh, dress, dressed up several of these and dressed down. So when you find a great cut, color, pattern, fit, all of those details, something timeless that just looks good that you could wear anywhere, um, you know, keep it and invest in it and you can just wear it for years and years. And that's what makes, you know, mindful shopping and, you know, knowing your style and picking good pieces for you and your body shape and your lifestyle um, so important because then as the years go by, you'll have 20 great dresses that you can pick from. You know, uh, when I was younger, I used to just shop for the season and every year I'd be spring cleaning, getting rid of clothes, getting new clothes. Um, so much money wasted, so much time wasted. Um, while it was fun, you know, I just think, oh my gosh, the things that I could have had, you know, if I would have just put more thought into what I was picking, which I have been mindfully shopping and stylishly shopping for the last 10 years. So I have a lot of great items. And ever since I just started paying attention to styles that flattered me and you know incorporating the trends in a timeless and classic way i find that at the end of a year at the end of the season the end of a year the end of two years i am not getting rid of bags and bags of clothes which feels really good to not be wasteful and to have pieces that you love Oh, and ladies, real quick, I wanted to just insert my outfit of the day. And it is freezing. My husband keeps telling me, oh, it's going to be warm. It's going to be 70 degrees. And it is freezing every single day <laughs> this week. So I have been in sweaters and jeans, uh, long skirts, uh, jackets. I pulled out all my dresses, but I don't get to wear them out and about yet. <laughs> And real quick, ladies, I wanted to share with you some shoe ideas that I was, shoes that I was wearing in this uh, video. Uh, these are some espadrilles that I recently purchased at J. Crew, and I think that it's great to have a closed toe option. Um, the very first time that I did wear these, though, they did give me a blister on the top. The toe part is a little uh, stiff, so I did wear them shopping, which is terrible. Don't wear new shoes shopping, you know, walking around. If you do, wear toe socks first <laughs> when you go out the first time. But uh, they're broken in now, <laughs> and they're great, and they're comfortable. And so this is a great option if you, uh, you know, don't have time for a pedicure or your feet are a little drier or whatnot. And then my go-to strappy hand, uh, heeled sandals. And so this was what I was talking about. Um, get a block heel of some sort. I actually don't like like a real big block, but um, even this is fine. As long as it's not, you know, the pointed heel, then you should be good to walk on nature's surfaces.
And then a real quick, I guess, dupe <laughs> for you uh, that I found it, uh, that I wanted to share. So the uh, wedges that I was wearing with these dresses are my Stuart Wiseman um, wedges here. And they have a clear double strap, a low, low platform right here, and only a two inch heel which is great. They're so walkable and I actually do have a thinner foot. So these straps fit me great. I do find some of the ones from Amazon are a little more roomy. I can wear them, but, um, they're a little, they are a little bit more roomy for, for me. So these are great, but they were costly. It actually took me a couple weeks, if not months to decide to buy them. I kept going back. Like, should I get them? I actually ordered them in the tan or nude, uh, strap first and then ended up also ordering them in, in the clear. And I found I liked the clear strap better than the nude strap for these. And I already have nude heel sandals too, but I found these on Amazon. So they only have one clear strap, but then they have this raffia straw strap, which is, you know, just, you know, I get, I would say kind of a nude color almost, but it has the barely their platform and a, still a small, small heel. And I have to show you these for comparison. So this is the Stuart Wiseman and this is the Dream Paris. They're practically the same. So it looks like the Dream Paris may be a quarter of an inch taller, but these are like 30 bucks and these are like 400. So you should definitely have a pair of these for spring and summer. They look great, they're comfortable, they're walkable, and for that price, I mean. And for the 10th dress, I actually was going to include um, some white dresses, and that is actually in my How to Wear White video, which I will link here. So I have three great white dresses that I feature in that video. So if you are interested in wearing white, which you can do to a graduation, so you can wear white to a graduation, not to a wedding <laughs> and, uh, d you know, don't wear all black. So I hope that you found this video helpful and get, got some tips and ideas, maybe some inspiration on what you could wear or should wear to your grad's graduation event. And if you did like this type of content, I sure would love it if you would like and subscribe. I am a newer creator on YouTube. And so I'm kind of still figuring out the ropes over here. There's, it's actually a, a lot that goes <laughs> into uh, getting a video up. I have so many great ideas, but between, you know, filming and editing uh, and working and being a mom, <laughs> it's hard to get them out so fast, but, uh, I sure do love it. I enjoy the creativity of it. So if I left out any information, uh, that you would have liked to know, or, um, I should have put in, then just leave that in the comments below and any comments that you have on these dresses, any great ones that you will be wearing. Do you have a grad graduating this year? And yeah, would love to hear from you in the comments below. I do respond and love chatting with you ladies. So thank you so much for dropping in and spending some time with me. I do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one and have a great day.